Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do um, something of a love reading for you. I was just prompted to do a love reading. So anyway, if you're here, thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. Okay, so Aquarius, it looks like what's going on now in your relationship or situationship is distance. This could be a rocky relationship. You know, it's up and down. It's, it's drama filled. Someone is asking themselves, is it worth fighting for with the nine of wands? Is it worth this uh, new start? Because the start doesn't dictate the finish. Is it worth putting in the energy, the effort, the time, the motivation? What are they going to get? From this. You could be asking yourself that. They could be asking themselves. Someone is trying not to destabilize, unravel, go through a same cycle or the same cycle. Someone doesn't want to give their cup away too soon or at all. There's somebody here practicing a bit of self-centeredness, but a healthy level of Put an energy into themselves. This could be you, Aquarius. It could be the other person. Someone definitely wants to solidify the connection with, you know, doing something together, getting physical, making some grand gesture, big move. Somebody feels like this union is blessed from by the heavens. Real power comes from the universe. And they feel like you guys were brought together. This could be a very significant relationship, connection. It could have just been sex. And now it looks like it's trying to morph or change into something else. How your person feels is the Knight of Swords, the Sun card, the Prince of Wands. So this person wants to, so the Knights are the defenders. You know, they, they take the action. Um, they're the warrior. They're, you know, the Knight. It looks like your person wants to take a lot of action towards you. Make some big move. You know, maybe even speak some truth about how happy they are when they're with you. How you are their happiness. How they feel like you are a person who could bring a lot of happiness, contentment, joy to their life. It's innocent with you. Or it's, it's real. Or it could be both. They want to go on another journey, another adventure with you. They want to do something with you, to you, with you. <laughs> they, I ask the cards, why does this person have two knights in their energy? You know, why are they showing up as two knights? Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands. And we know that the, the knights are the defenders, you know, um, you have the thought, the action is carried out with the page, and now the knight has to defend whatever is, is about to transpire or happen or what they want to happen. They go out and make things happen. So it looks like what's clarifying why your person has two knights is the chariot card, the empress and the Queen of Pentacles. This person thinks extremely highly of you, Aquarius. This person wants to get over the obstacles. They want victory. They want their, 
you know, they feel like they need to get in control of this relationship or this marriage or whatever it is. They feel like they need to, you know, they need to be steering the boat. They need to drive the boat because if they don't, it could all fall apart or they could lose you. And look how valuable they think you are. They place you above maybe every other woman, whether they've said it or not, or every other man. This person wants to have a new relationship with you, a new start. You feel like you're nurturing. They, this person may even be nurturing. They want to nurture this connection. They feel like you're the perfect person. They're finally seeing your value. They see your value because you finally have stood up and saw your value. Maybe you walked away because there is separation here. They're seeing you abundant and creating something, possibly alone. They just see you in all of your beauty and your splendor. Like they see you getting a lot of recognition. They feel like you take care of yourself. You know, your aesthetics, your appearance. They feel like you dress well, you like nice things. You're very nurturing to the people around you. They feel like they need to go after this. Could be dealing with a cancer, could be dealing with Libra, Virgo, Taurus, anybody. Everybody's here. You could have those signs in your chart somewhere the only time you would get two nights coming up like this is when somebody feels like something is fleeting is running away from them like somebody's getting away so this person has to, to pull you back in defend their position of them wanting you in their life of them wanting you uh wherever right next to them or just you know at arm's length i don't know How you feel, Aquarius, is the Four of Cups, the Fool card, and the Three of Swords. So you just feel like you're too focused on yourself. You're too focused on what has transpired. Sometimes this card talks about missing an opportunity, missing your blessing, missing your gift, not seeing what's before you because you're too self-centered too focused maybe you feel like the other person is this or was that or this is you because this is how you feel you can't get over what happened maybe this person had you in a third party maybe this person broke your heart they were the cause for your heart breaking and maybe you just want to sit there you don't want to get over it you don't want to move past it and that is a personal choice but what is between those two cards is a fool card. So the opportunity for a new slate, a new start is here to go in a new direction, new development, to take the leap of faith. You're confused about how you feel and what you're thinking, what you're seeing and what you're feeling. Your thought process and your heart are not aligned. So it's making you very confused to where you just kind of draw back into yourself and focus on what what was or what wasn't you could be crying you could be having mood swings there could be loneliness lots of grief anxiety sorrow I think you're very confused, Aquarius, because you some of you don't get down in the comments and kill me in the comments, but some of you want this person back. But you can't get over what happened and how they did it and what they said and this and that and that and this. And if you can't, then you can't. If you can't and you want to, go get help. Talk to somebody about how you can move past this, move forward. 
because there's an energy of your person wanting to reconcile, wanting forgiveness, um, wanting to let bygones be bygones. This person is saying it's not good for us to be apart right now. And it might be because there is other influence. There are other people. This person doesn't want to be swayed away from the union, the connection, the partnership. They want to work through. They have a lot of love for you, a lot of mutual respect and love from the both of you. Some of you could be dealing with the Leo. We have the lion coming up twice. This person is longing to be with you, to actually be happy with you, to be content, or they want you to be content with them or their relationship. They could even want to date you. Sweep you off your feet, make you fall in love again, or this is you, Aquarius, or this is you wanting them to do this. They want to rebuild. They feel like it's you. They feel like it's you, them, and God in the center it's, that brings you guys, you two together, so that you can build a firm foundation. They feel like this is the first stages of creation the three of pentacles like what you create now is what will be they feel like they want things to move fast they want to declare their intentions and they want you to declare yours this person could be obsessed with you or you with them this person could be manifesting you they could be in their ego a bit and so are you but they want to explore what is here. But someone is saying, look, I'm over it. I don't want this because of this. You can't see what's being offered. Maybe it's too, too little, too late. Maybe someone is just too hurt. Someone wants everything with you. Life, children, kids, home. Longevity. Someone wants a legacy with you. They see that this could work. Someone could already be in a connection, but there is nothing between them and that other person. But the fact that they have a legacy, they want to see it through. That's the only reason why they're there. And they want a new start with you. If your person is not already coupled, they want the opportunity to get to the Ten of Pentacles. This is just an opportunity. What you do with it is what you do with it. And it says if you don't see the opportunity, look again. Look deep. The beginning does not dictate the end, but it's, you're going to have to have put in hard work and dedication uh, definitely to get to the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody wants to reconcile. Wow. They really want you to to look at this logically or you want them to look at this logically and say look we're either getting over this getting past the drama the hurt the pain the frustration the sneakiness the lies the deception in the past the people inserting themselves in our relationship or we just need to completely be done with each other which one makes sense because this is when you make sense of moving on now it's moving on together or moving on without because somebody wants you or the other person to make a snap decision, a snap judgment, um, to reconcile again, coming up to come back together, um, to, to, um, have this partnership to revive this cause it could be dead, but there's still someone who is a bit anxious or angry. They just stand in their position. Even if you know, it's a minority position. You know, it's not, if there was a poll taken, taken about this issue, you, the other person, whoever this is, they would be in the minority. They would be in the majority. The majority of people would not be siding with them. But this person is still standing their ground. They're still guarded. And they may have actual reason to be, um, actual and factual reason to be. This is somebody who's unwavering 
um, undecided about a reconciliation or a reunion here. Once again, saying that there's going to, there needs to be a plan and cooperation if there's going to be reconciliation or a reunion here. There's a power struggle here. Someone doesn't want to give up. There's a lack of vulnerability here. Someone doesn't feel safe anymore. Someone is just staying in a connection because they want to see it through. But there's problems here. Um, someone does want to see this through. Someone who's already in a connection may say to you they have to stay because of obligation. Some of you may get some mental clarity that helps you see something really clearly. Let's see what your person wants to tell you and what their next actions are in the extended reading. It looks like they think highly of you, Aquarius. They want you to let bygones be bygones. I don't know if it's worth that for you. I don't know if you can get over it. I don't know if you should. If you feel like you can't, you need to seek help. What's this person? Yeah. What does this person want to tell Aquarius? What does this person want to tell Aquarius? Okay. And what is this person's next move? It looks it looks like you guys need mediation. And this could work, but mediation is definitely needed. What's this person's next move? Okay. What's this person's next move toward Aquarius? Right. Okay. All right, Aquarius. So I'll leave you with a bit of advice here from the eight. Wow, that just flipped out. Okay. It flipped out, Aquarius. So you have a yes answer and in the near future. In the extended, we will clarify the yes answer. Um, in the near future, while wow, at the bottom of the deck, you have romance. Aquarius, let's see, because it looks very interesting for you in the extended, especially what this person wants to say to you and one of their next moves. Okay. All right. So Aquarius, the extended link is in the description box. Thank you. Take care.